Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crochet in the City and I'm Elizabeth. If you are new here, I want to send you an extra, extra thank you because we are almost at my next milestone. Almost at 100 subscribers. I can't believe this. I've only been on YouTube approximately one year with this channel, but to me, 100 people that could be anywhere else, but they chose to stop at my channel, listen to what I have to say, and then go further to leave comments, positive comments and likes. That's everything to me. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for all the love that I'm getting. I'm happy that my audience is growing and it's organic. Like I'm progressing as well. I got to tell you, I'm real, real nervous. I'm, I'm one of those people that's real nervous speaking on camera. And it's crazy because when I was in school, anything that had to do with writing or essays or communication, I always ace those classes. But when I sit in front of this camera, <laughs> I just get lost, lost for words sometimes. So again, I thank you all, all the new people that are tuning in to see what crochet in the city is all about and the same goes for my returning subscribers thank you guys for hanging in there and sticking it out with me since day one it just feels good to see that my channel is growing my audience is growing and it's it's an organic growth and i'm just happy i'm happy i'm motivated i got all these ideas floating around in my head and i just can't wait to execute them so, with all of that being said, I can't wait to jump right in and get to business. The latest flower bomb sweater is now complete. And here it is. Here it is. I'm going to show you all kinds of good stuff in the cutaway, but that was the front. You saw the back in the last video. And when I try it on, when you see me try it on, I'm gonna have a shirt on under it because I got that situation going on right now where I'm trying to lose weight uh, for all the traveling and the events that I wanna attend this spring and summer. But I love this sweater. I love this sweater. And I know I've said that before, but I fall in love pretty much with everything that I put out and that's what you should be doing I mean if you're crocheting you're spending out you're spending all these hours crocheting and you're not wearing your things it's it's like what are you doing what are you doing you go out and buy this yarn and if you're going to put the time in to sit down and that's a lot of time sometimes these projects can take weeks definitely days but some of these projects can take weeks and then you don't wear them afterwards no no, you got to get to a place where if you're going to invest that much time and energy into something, absolutely fall in love with it. Put the art, put the return of investment on yourself. So whatever I make, I try, I try my best to really put my all into it so I can look back and, and stand back and say, I did that. I'm, I'm really proud that I did that. And this is what I wanted to do for this channel too. I wanted to create not only just a crochet channel, but the creativity. I wanted you to see the creativity and I wanted you to, I wanted you to be inspired by what I do creative wise. And then I take it a step further. I style my pieces. So you can be motivated and inspired to create your own pieces and say, you know what? I am making all this crochet stuff. I should probably be trying to figure out how I can wear this stuff too, because that's the next question. You're making these pieces. You see something cute. You see a cute top or something. I'm going to give it, you know, I want to take it a step further. Not only show you fabulous pieces, but, you know, style it up a bit so you can see, hmm, maybe I can wear this to an event or maybe to a gathering or, you know, just just because I'm even creating pieces that you can wear date night. You can wear it to work if you like it. It depends. It depends on you and what your taste is. But that's my overall objective is to show you fabulous pieces that you can create or be inspired by and then fall absolutely in love with them yourself. And on top of that, wear your pieces. On this channel, our goal is to create pieces that we're proud of and want to wear. With all that being said, I'm going to show you in the cutaway a couple of these pictures that you see. This is where I was going when I created this sweater. 
as far as the back part, I knew I wanted to do something backwards. And the reason why with this sweater, I didn't put it all the way backwards. I didn't make it all the way backwards because I wanted some modesty. I didn't want my bra to completely show even though it still does. That's cool for now because I'm either most of the time going to wear like a new color camisole under it or I'm probably going to do a new bra. And I think it'll be fine. If I don't do that, then I'll just wear like a thin turtleneck or just a thin top under and I think it'll be fine so I'll have an option if I want to wear it full on coverage just wear either something new or maybe a matching red under it that way it can be a full on covered top or if I just wanted to go extra I can just wear it completely without anything under it except a bra the bra will definitely be a new bra but again I want it just for this first one to kind of have some modesty because if I did it completely backless and with my situation going on back there now I wasn't sure if I wanted to <laughs> commit that far to have all of my back out yet so I said let me start with something a little more modest and then if I like it I'll work up to one of the pieces that you see in the cutaway so that's the story on that with the flowers these flowers by themselves take longer than the sweater. The sweater doesn't take that long. In fact, the sweater takes maybe about a day, maybe a day and a half. If I don't have anything else going on uninterrupted, I can do the sweater, the entire sweater in about a day and a half. Uh, but then these little petals, I individually do the petals and then I sew them all together. And then I apply it like an applique. And that's my secret to doing that this one I went a step further and I said let me add some stems so I have kind of like the flower stem swirling all around the sleeve and then I added some leaves on this one I couldn't decide if I wanted the leaves to just hang or kind of sew them down a bit and for this one I chose to sew them down a bit but on that next one on that next one because I saw I wish I could have shown you what it looked like before I sewed them down, but I kind of like the way that looked too. So on the gray one, I might do that. I have a white one as well in the works that is going to be another flower ball sweater because we're already in the middle of January. And next thing you know, February will come and go and then it'll be March. And once it turns March, I like to start kind of looking forward to all of the new spring trends that are coming out how you can correlate those with crochet because also on this channel we're going to make crochet an all year thing i noticed when i was kind of doing research for how i wanted to go about doing my own channel i saw a lot of crochet content kind of fade out particularly after about april may not here not here you are going to see all year round content now just like a lot of the other channels i may switch over and start using other fibers i did some research for yarn on websites i did not even know they made so many different types of yarn they got silk yarn they got cashmere mohair cotton all different types of cotton uh, i saw some filament that you can wrap the yarn it is it's all kinds of stuff out there there's like a whole world of yarn and crochet and knitting that i knew nothing about that i'm just learning and adapting to all this stuff and i'm just hyped i'm just hyped i can't wait to execute a lot of the stuff that i have in my head along with a lot of the things that i'm just discovering um, from other fiber artists not that i'm copying them but I'm inspired by other people too. I have a lot of design. I have a lot of design background and I have a lot of experience sewing and creating that way. But this world of yarn art is new to me and it's just something that I'm just out the gate running excited with and I just can't wait to put out more and more. Right now, if I could count how many whips just physically, I have 26 whips going on right now and just this week alone I started four of them one of my short videos you can see like little purple circles that's a whip 
because um, a lot of the lips that I have featured in that video, I've already completed and you saw those, especially the off the shoulder sweater that you saw with the red flower bomb sweater, the black sweater with the green. That was a whip in one of my previous videos, but now that's a completed project. But I have the purple, I have some of those striped cuffs. Those are gonna eventually be other sweaters and other tops. I'm doing a couple of jackets, crochet jackets that I can't wait to show. I have a whip that I'm doing out of this. In fact, I think I showed this in that video too. This is a black yarn with a gold fiber running through it. And I don't know how well this shows up on the video, but in person it has a nice bit of sparkle to it. I may go back and either put micro sequins in it or maybe some rhinestones. I don't know. I just want that extra sparkle. Uh, but this is a current whip. This is one of the tops. You know what, right now what I'm doing is I'm creating a little capsule wardrobe that I wanna wear to the Essence Festival. I'm gonna finish the two-piece sequence bomber jacket that I showed you guys in the last video, but there are a few pieces that I wanna create because half of that wardrobe I'm gonna design and create because when you go to the Essence Festival, it's gonna be hot down there, but you wanna show up and show out and that that's what I'm all about. When I get dressed, I like to, I like to do it. I like to show up and I like to show out. Thinking about the Essence Festival, I have at least four pieces in progress right now that I want to finish up in time for when it's time to get my travel pants and all that together. So I got going with that. The gray sweater that you guys saw, that's also gonna be another flower bomb. We talked about this. And then <laughs> the pants, the pants. These are the pants I got from Target. I don't even know if I, I took the tag off of them. It doesn't make sense to return them now. In fact, I wouldn't return these. I actually like these pants. I don't care what anybody says. Sometimes it's a hit or miss with my fashion choices, but I'm the kind of person I had an attitude. I don't give a kitchen what you think. I don't give a kitchen what people think about what I wear in real life. If I feel good in it, and I love it, I'm wearing it. Uh, but I get told a lot that these look like those pants. I get told a lot that these look like those pants, but I don't care. I'm gonna finish up this gray sweater and that's how she will be rocked. That's how she will be rocked. Look how nice, look how nice. But I like how that gray brings that out. I can't wait to do some things in gold. And I started doing that with this. You pay attention to a lot of the 2024 trends. We're going to switch from, metallics are still going to be big, but we're going to switch over from silver, a lot of silver into gold pieces. And this is going to be my introductory to creating a lot of gold pieces. Um, it's not going to be a real big video today. I just wanted to kind of touch base again and welcome you guys. Again, I'm almost at my milestone. I thank you all again. Do you find anything on this channel that inspires you, that interests you? If you have any questions about any ideas, please drop down in the comments and let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of future content. I can't wait to bring you guys more content. And with that being said, you guys have a great day. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.